Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol DRYS. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. Did this analysis on Friday. That's where these red and green lines are coming from. And certainly want to get the chart updated here. As Friday, as I talked about, was a pretty rough uh, l l late part of the day, really. I mean, because majority of Friday was fine, and then the final 30 minutes happened right there where the big volume kicked in and the price fell down. So, you know, going into today, it was kind of a question of, you know, is this thing about to fall off a cliff? Is this thing just going to totally fall apart? And although, you know, today the price did go down a little bit, but for the most part just went sideways, I would call this a, a bullish day and a victory for the bulls. Now, I'm not saying that means that tomorrow this thing's going to be up at $2.50, but given the context of, you know, like I said, Friday afternoon and the, all the volume that came in and the, the, the nasty price reduction, to see the price just start to go sideways here uh, and seemingly absorbing things. The other nice thing to see, volume dropped off, so it's not like there was a huge amount of volume that continued today with the downward selling pressure. So uh, potentially late day on Friday was just, uh, you know, some people, uh, you know, people wanting to hop out before the weekend or whatever. Uh, but as it stands right now, uh, it seems as though that selling pressure uh, has subsided. Whether or not it's gone away, uh, you know, that remains to be seen. But the price going sideways and maintaining above levels of support, a, a good start to the week compared to, you know, how things did end. So these levels of support will be review for those of you that have been watching the past videos. But key level here being that purple line there, the 50 period simple moving average, as I've said in the past videos, as long as the price is above that purple line, then the bulls are in full control of this current bounce that started to happen last week. If the price cannot hold above that purple line, the next level there is at $1.70. If the price closes below $1.70 and worse yet, then starts to separate to the downside of it like that. At that point in time, uh, you know, you got to start to question, are the bulls losing control of things? But as it stands right now, you can't say the bulls are losing control because today, going back to sideways price action, still maintaining those levels of support. So a good day given, uh, you know, just how nasty things were on Friday afternoon. So uh, we'll see if this is indeed some sort of bottom and the bulls can start to recover or potentially just a little pit stop before the bears, uh, you know, pick back up their momentum again. We'll have to see what happens, but a good start for the bulls. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.